Hey guys, Shayna from Mom Edit. I'm here today to talk about jeans, specifically denim trends. So there are basically two ways that I like to think about denim trends. The first way is sort of like the yearly or seasonally even proclamations that you might read in like Vogue's fall issue. The second way is in addition to the sort of like yearly trends, there's like this overarching collective consciousness around denim silhouettes. And that really determines what denim feels current or on trend. This tends to change not yearly, but it's almost measured in decades. On average, it's about 10 to 15 and sometimes 20 years. What I really I'm excited about in 2024 is that this year sort of represents a pretty significant shift between the old style of denim silhouettes into the new. And that is what I want to talk about today. So let's get into it. If the old style of denim silhouette had to be summed up in a word, I'd probably pick the word sexy. We went from bootcut jeans into skinny jeans and you know, the skinny jeans then became legging jeans and then it was like low rise went to high rise and it was all very painted on. You could tell that we were getting away from that idea with the advent of mom jeans because as fun of a silhouette as mom jeans are, they are arguably decidedly not sexy. Where we're headed is in a much looser, easier silhouette than the one we came from. If I were to give you just a couple guidelines in terms of like going forward, if you care, you know, if you care about staying current with denim, one, you know, I'm sticking kind of with full length jeans. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, I'm sticking with full length jeans. I'm also easing up on the sizing. If I size up, there's like an ease to that jean that feels way more current than if I'm like trying to squeeze myself into like even my normal size or a size down. The third rule I'm using to sort of determine what jeans I'm gonna buy or not buy are I'm kind of setting aside any jeans that are tapering in at the ankle. All right, so there are a couple styles of jeans that I would say are, I hate using such bold words, but they're out, they're out. I'm done, I'm over these jeans. And the first is skinny jeans. What? No, dude! I know a lot of people like their skinnies and you know, I'm not saying that there's not a scenario that I could conceive of wearing skinny jeans, but for the most part, I am not choosing skinny jeans anymore, primarily because most of my skinny jeans fit pretty tight and they just, they don't feel current to me at all. The second pair of jeans that I think are done are mom jeans. And honestly guys, I actually can't picture mom jeans coming back until 10 to 15 years from now. Actually, no, I take that back. 10 to 15 years from now, we're probably gonna be looking at skinny jeans again, but I don't think mom jeans are gonna come back again for another 10 years after that, maybe another 15. So I think mom jeans are done for the next 30 years. So you know what? Fine, goodbye, good riddance, mom jeans. Bye. One that's up for some sort of debate because I don't think it belongs in this overarching silhouette. It's more of a personal preference. The overly distressed denim thing, I think will come back at some point in this next 10 to 15 year time span, but for 2024, it definitely feels like not quite as current as some other things. What jeans are actually in style, on trend for 2024? What jeans fit into this new overarching denim silhouette consciousness? I've got eight. I've got eight pairs for you from which to choose. So number one are wide leg jeans. If you're looking for the, like a default silhouette to throw on and feel current in 2024 and beyond, it is gonna be the wide leg jeans. I don't care if they're high rise. I don't care if they're low rise. I don't care if they're rigid. I don't care if they're stretchy. Just the sort of like ease of denim silhouette in the wide leg jean is what makes them feel current. I have just found personally that if I buy my wide leg jeans up one size, they have like a looser fit that I am definitely into that feels super current and yet is still like kind of sexy. All right, so the second pair of jeans that are definitely in style for 2024 are dad jeans or baggy jeans or whatever you wanna call them. They typically fit like kind of loose in the waist. They're like loose all the way down and I kind of like them just like a little bit long so they sort of like pool around your ankles a little bit. These are the jeans that have made all of my existing outfits feel so much fresher. I find that I like my dad jeans 
on the larger size in the summer months, like when it's hot, because then I kind of wear them like really low on my hips, kind of falling off, a pair of flip flops, they're great. In the winter months though, I found that I'm better off in my normal size, so they, they hit a little higher. And then I've been wearing them with like Uggs and like sneakers and ballet flats and normal boots, they're great. In fact, these are such a major trend that we did a whole baggy jean masterclass on how to style them. And we also did another video just giving like eight of our favorite outfits with baggy jeans based on those tips from the masterclass. So check those out if you haven't already. They are, they're pretty good. This is a controversial one, but I, whatever, I stand by it guys. Barrel jeans is number three. There are plenty of videos out. <laughs> out in the YouTube world where people are declaring them the worst jeans and dead and they are wrong, guys, they're just wrong. Barrel jeans are fantastic and they are 100% here to stay and they are kind of a hallmark of this new era of denim. They're kind of like dad jeans in that they're usually a little bit loose-ish in the waist. You can run high rise, you can run low rise, it doesn't matter. They're sort of loose through the leg and while they sort of taper in at the ankle, we're not talking about a mom jean tapered ankle, because they're so wide at the leg, it's just kind of like a, a slight tapering at the ankle. Why do I like these jeans so much? I don't know, I just think they're freaking cool. Number four is a horseshoe jean. This is basically a dramatic version of the barrel jean. So if you hated barrel jeans, you're probably gonna hate horseshoe jeans. And the purpose of these jeans is to just add like a really interesting, unique silhouette. So if you, like my sister, want your jeans for the single purpose of making yourself look sexy, which is not bad. Horseshoe jeans may not be your favorite, but again, I just think they're wildly cool, wildly fun to wear, and we love horseshoe jeans over here. Number five, I think, is like a good compromise, especially if you're watching this and being like, no, I hate you. <laughs> Maybe this. Trouser jeans are number five. So trouser jeans, and again, guys, it doesn't matter. They can be high rise, they can be low rise, they can be mid rise, whatever rise you like. They just have pant-like details. They might have like a tabbed waist, they might have slash pockets like trousers, they might have like cool stitching at the bottom, like that kind of shows like a, a hem or a cuff. Trouser jeans all seem to have like a really cool drape to them because they are just imitating pants. We found if you're gonna like search for trouser jeans, if you type in pleated jeans, don't cringe. Pleated jeans or tie waist jeans, you'll find way more trouser jeans in your Google search. Number six, I'm so excited about this one, is cuffed denim. We're not talking about like skinny little cuffs, we're talking about like ethically cuffed denim. This might be hard for the really tall girls to pull off because it's already hard to find denim long enough. The best cuff jeans have like an easiness and like a looseness to them with this giant cuff and you want them all the way to the ground, and so they're kind of a hallmark of what's coming. This one might be a little bit more of a micro trend for 2024, but whatever, I love it, it's fantastic. Okay, number seven. These go by many names, because they're all kind of similar. So we're lumping carpenter jeans, workwear jeans, utility jeans, and cargo jeans all into one major trend. Whether it's cargo jeans with the big pockets, or it's like the workwear jeans with the welder like stitching here and like the little carpenter tool holder loop, whatever, it doesn't matter. The vibe is what we're after. You want these to fit. I would personally not get like the skinny version of cargo jeans. You want these to fit like a little bit loose and easy. And number eight, oh gosh, this is it guys. We're at the end. Number eight are sailor jeans. This might be another micro trend, but sailor jeans sort of fit in this like overarching <laughs> denim silhouette because they're basically wide leg jeans. They're actually very similar to trouser jeans. They just have a slightly more directional set of details. There's something about this jean that feels really current and fresh for 2024. And honestly, I don't care if they're full length or cropped. This is the one style of jean that I think cropped could be just as cute. There's also like murmurings of gauchos coming back, which I'm not ready to talk about yet, but I feel like sailor jeans might be a nice bridge if you get there. All right guys, thank you for coming to my TED Talk on the denim trends of 2024, as well as this idea of a collective denim consciousness that is in the midst of a major shift. I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know if you agree with the denim trends we found or not, that's okay too. We have links below to all of the denim we featured here. And yeah, have a good one guys, see ya. The third thing, what is the third thing? Shit, I don't remember. <laughs> is that what this is the one you want me to use? <laughs> <Are you? laughs>
<laughs> you're about to start over. <laughs>